Okay, so what we're looking to do is to download some footage onto a USB stick from our Dahua XVR. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and put a USB stick into the machine. Now there's a USB port at the front and at the rear. Um, so you go ahead and you find your USB uh, port and uh, normally we would put the mouse in the rear to, because the USB port at the front is a lot more accessible. It's there in the front right hand corner. So we're just going to go ahead and slip in our USB stick into uh, the port here in our machine. So the USB stick in there now and coming up on the screen there shortly is um, okay a little screen and it's going to ask us uh, what we want to do and what we're looking to do is we're looking to uh, file backup so um, if you're not logged in in the machine it's going to go and ask you to log in and dependent on your user rights you may or may not be allowed to back up uh, obviously if um, um, uh, you log in and you um, uh, request a backup and it's not working that might be an issue for you so in this case we're just going to draw our pattern because that's what we have here and it's take us in here into uh, the backup page so um, inside the backup page it's just after give you our usb stick uh, a name it'll automatically do that for you it tells us the size of the stick uh, that we fitted and uh, more importantly it gives us the uh, free space on the usb stick um obviously the stick i've fitted there there's already some stuff on the stick so it's just over seven gigabytes of a stick and it's 4.5 gigabytes uh free this will become um this bit of information here will help us out later on because when we go down here and we request to um download a camera cameras it'll calculate how much uh, space is required so we're obviously enough going to need more space up here uh, than what we're looking for down here to get it all onto the stick without having to break it up across uh, multiple multiple sticks or whatever the case may be so um okay so in here is where you select your camera or cameras so it's currently a one which is camera one at the moment you can change that for a two eight so on and so forth um unfortunately at present it's kind of a case of you can have one camera or you can have all cameras now all cameras are fine um this is an eight channel machine now however if you have a 16 channel machine what you've got to bear in mind is that um now if it's only a few minutes worth of footage yeah you look for ease um you can um, drop down all the cameras but obviously if you're recording or you're hoping to drop down longer periods of time uh maybe a case that you might have to drop down uh some of the cameras um just individually or maybe just the cameras that you need because other than that you're going to require uh lots of um usb sticks and quite large usb sticks but again uh it will help you out here in terms of um how much uh, space is required and you can uh, cut your cloth accordingly what i mean by that is if it's taking up too much space for you or it is you know uh, you might just have to shorten the the period of of time um uh, required or just you'll just have to um see how it goes so uh, in here this uh on your machine may be set to all uh, you can go ahead and set that to general that'll be fine in here you have your start time your in time um same as your playback whatever go in and click it and see see what you have so in this case we're just going to go um we say at the moment it's 2155 uh um, and we'll keep the date the same and we'll just change that to uh 22 um 100 okay um so that's what we're looking for that's the so it's camera one and that's the date and our time that we want to download so we we'll go ahead and we we'll click search and what we'll see here is we actually have two files after downloading now the way this machine works is it drops down the files in hourly segments so if you look here we've gone from 2155 to 2258 seconds so um the file on the first part 2155 takes us from uh, five to nine up until 10 o'clock and then the 58 seconds drops down as a second file but um that is that's just the way it, it, it does it uh you'll see it like if depending if you're looking for a larger larger space of time um going across three hours you would see that there would be three uh files downloaded 
you know you can see here what we need we need 20 megabytes of space just for that amount of time uh with plenty here in terms of the four and a half gigabytes um so once you've um once you're happy that your uh, time uh, is correct you can go ahead and you can click left click back up and to just going to calculate it here this is a very small um file so it just has it done there for us uh, it'll take you in now into your usb stick uh, these are just some of my old files in here and what we'll see is we see our two files uh, spanning the two the we say the up to 10 the 2200 and after the 2200 and then we have our smart player our smart player is what we use to uh, play back the footage when we stick uh, our usb stick into our tower or computer or laptop whatever it is we're uh, putting the usb stick into the smart player is what uh, plays back uh, for us so um, i can just click ok to that and that'll take us back out and again i'll see if you wanted to change at this point if you wanted to change change your change your time uh you go ahead and you'd um uh, or change your camera your probably time is probably going to end up being the same but you go ahead and you change it to, to a4 you hit search over here you see a4 and that's um that's you just go ahead and you hit back up again now right click right click as always will take us out and that's out into the into into the screen now if you after coming out you realized um okay uh i oh, actually needed to download something else what you can do is just right click and go into the main menu and you might end up inside this this would be the most uh, common page here with your search and um maintenance and all that sort of thing so you can go and you can lift click either lift click down there or alternatively use the roller ball on your mouse which will get us into backup which gets us into the into the same page it just uh, saves us having to um, remove and uh, fit back in fit back in the mouse uh, again and the one other thing there as well you can actually just click browse there and that'll tell us um, what um, what files that we're after that we're after um, downloading there uh, as always right click will bring us right click will bring us back out and we're back out into the uh, main screen then okay thank you